Death of June Preser, June 26, 1918 to September 19, 1984, was an American actress, popular in musical films during the late 1930s and through the 1940s, many of which capitalized on her skills as an acrobat. Life and Career Born June 26, 1918, in New Orleans, Preser was one of six children. As a child, she was underweight and began going to an athletic club in an attempt to build strength and gain weight. It was there that Preser and her sister Cherry learned acrobatics, in which they excelled. Their mother was keen to have them follow a career in show business, especially when their father died suddenly, leaving the family with few options to make a living. When Preser was nine years old, an actor noticed the two sisters performing acrobatics on a sidewalk near their home and his interest led to their working in vaudeville and later for the Ziegfeld Follies in 1934 and 1936. From the trailer for Gallant Sons, 1940. The Preser sisters were successful in the United States, and performed in Europe, including for George VI of the United Kingdom. Cherry retired after she was married on June 22, 1937, thus ending their team. In 1938, June tumbled alone in the Broadway musical You Never Know. June was signed to a film contract by MGM. Her first film, Dancing Coed, 1939, provided only a small part, but her next film, Babes in Arms, 1939, gave her a significant role opposite Mickey Rooney and Judy Garland. She performed with Rooney and Garland again in Strike Up the Band, 1940, and with Rooney in two Andy Hardy films, Judge Hardy and Son, 1939, and Andy Hardy's Private Secretary, 1941. In 1940, Preser appeared in Gallant Sons, a comedic murder mystery. The following year, she played her first lead role opposite Jimmy Lydon and Henry Aldrich for President, 1941, and followed this with Sweater Girl, 1942, opposite Eddie Bracken. She continued her career following her marriage in 1942 to radio announcer J. Moss Terry. The couple had a son, Richard Josiah Rickey, the following year and later divorced. By this time, MGM had little interest in promoting Preser's career. She left MGM and began working for Monogram Pictures. Preser continued to appear in musical comedies over the next few years, and played the character Dodie Rogers in seven The Teen Agers films with Freddie Stewart, Frankie Darrow and Noel Neal from 1946 to 1948. She made her final film appearance in Music Man, 1948. After appearing in a Los Angeles theater production of Annie Get Your Gun, Preser retired from acting. Later years in death. After retiring from acting in the early 1950s, Preser taught dancing and acrobatics in Los Angeles. She then moved with her son, Richard Josiah Terry, to Boca Raton, Florida. From 1972 until her death, Preser worked at Pompano Office Supply with her son. In the early morning hours of September 19, 1984, Preser was the passenger in her son's car when the two were involved in a fatal car accident in Pompano Beach, Florida, when a van crossed the median into their lane. Police attributed the accident to rainy conditions. Richard Terry died at the scene while Preser died of her injuries at North Broward Medical Center.